everyone, I'm Allie. Hi, I'm Anna. And we're gonna show you some really cute kind of five minute teacher gifts that you can put together to really wow those, wow those something teachers. Something other than an apple. Something <laughs> other than an apple and something other than, you know, a coffee gift certificate. Although yeah, like coffee mug they appreciate the coffee mugs and the coffee gift certificates. You can put this around the coffee you can mug put, or in the coffee actually, mug. Actually, that's a great idea. So Anna's gonna start first and kind of mm -hmm. give that first idea. So what'd you do, yeah. Anna? So this is a bookmark. And the way that these bookmarks work is you have this one end that is embellished and it's fun and it's got something going on there, kind of acts as a weight. And then I actually don't have a book. Do we have a little book? Well, we you pull that napkin you. in half. Yeah, and we'll, <laughs> but um, then on the other end here, you just have your string or this is the rat tail that I used. And this is actually what goes in the book. So you want this end to be flat. And that way and what, it doesn't affect your book and how it closes or the pages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then when you close your book, you have this pretty side hanging out. Um, so what I did here is I have the rat tail and I took a piece um, about two times um, the length that I'm gonna need it when it's done and plus a little bit more, plus a few more inches to allow for um, these knots that I made. And I just put my tassel in the center and tied a knot. And then I just put some other large hole beads on and tied a knot. So I've got um, just a really simple, you don't need any tools or anything, just real simple bookmark end. And then on this end, where I have my cut ends, I'm gonna finish it off. I have these little, um, they're silver plated flat kumihimo, kumihimo ends. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ribbon ends, I've heard, heard people ends. say it a couple of yeah. ways, yeah. Um, so that's just gonna cap the end there so that you don't have the fraying. And I'm gonna add a little charm. Um, I had fun thinking, oh, maybe this is a geology teacher that's gonna get this. Geography. Or, or geography, not geography, geology. Well, it geology would work would for still geology work. Too. Yeah. We kind of yeah. were thinking about te different <laughs> teachers and what subjects they taught while yeah. we were making these little five minute projects. So this is gonna be super easy. Um, all you're gonna need is a pair of pliers to do this part. And I'm just gonna put my ends in the kumihimo or the ribbon end. And you just wanna make sure that they're even. Yeah, so what I did was before I cut it, I made sure that both these sides were even and then I cut them so that they were they were even. Yeah, and I'm just gonna grip that kind of like an alligator. <laughs> Squish For that those flat. those biology teachers, you yeah. can say, it's an alligator. <laughs> yeah, just squish that flat. It has little teeth, so it grips into um, your ribbon or your cording. Yeah, and then I had made this little charm. So then to attach it, all I need to do is, oops, got, yeah. Open up that yeah. glue. I've been playing with glue, so I got glue all over my <laughs> fingers. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna open up this jump ring, basically, or eye at the other end slide it on and close it back up. And there you've got your bookmark. Yeah. Cute, cute. So, so that'll be the one end there. and the other end. And you can get yeah. your teacher a journal, you can put it in something, even mm -hmm. just putting it in the card yeah, would be a really cute. Yeah, putting it in a journal would be a really great idea. Great idea. Or um, card. Yeah, or a card. Card or a journal. And yeah. then looking and kind of going from there, we also did the tassels in um, kind of school colors. So think yeah. about school colors. Yeah. So going along that same idea of the school colors, we had, we did have fun kind of making these and, and playing around. And the next one that I did, I'm just gonna show you basically the finished product because all it is is opening and closing jump rings. And I'll have Anna demonstrate, we'll see how good of a job she does, demonstrate how to properly open and close a <laughs> jump ring. But here I use right. the number one teacher tag just with a jump ring, used a little Potomac's link with that school colors. Same thing I was thinking, maybe kindergarten teacher. Um, it's also the autism awareness charm here. Something little personal that you might wanna do. And school colors, again, hanging with tassels along the bottom. All of it's literally just jump rings. You can give it on a card. You can give it actually as the piece of jewelry. You can even have it, like you said, kind of hang it mm -hmm. from you know, a rear view mirror, you can hang it from a candle, you can hang it from all different things and include it as that personalized little touch. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that you really need to know for this is how to open and close jump rings. Okay, so I'm not Let's gonna see. use my thumbnail for this. Go ahead, because, how it you has, do it. Yeah, because don't use your thumbnail, yeah. show how to open so, and close properly. Okay, so if you have, preferably if you have two 
um, flat nose pliers or needle nose ni- needle nose pliers, pliers that just come to a point here. Um, that's the preferable way to do it. Um, I use my thumbnail, which I would not suggest because you're going to beat it up. You um, but we'll use this big jump ring here because it's going to be the easiest one to see. So on your jump ring is they have a split. That's where they're, they're open and you want to have it flat and you're going to grip on either side of that opening. Oops. And then with one needle nose plier, I use the one in my right hand you're just going to lift it up. So you're basically just uncoiling it. If you think of it like that. Exactly. So you're not pulling away from that shape. You're you're kind of just separating it. Right. So here's the other one. Um, Again, like you want to keep it flat. And so I'm using one pair of needle nose pliers just to grip it. I'm not doing anything other than gripping. Um, And it just gives you, um, it just makes it nice and steady and it's easier to to, um, work with the other hand. And you're just going to pull it up. What you don't want to do is pull it away from each other. Then you got to know. You don't want to do that. And then when you're you not going to get it, it back up. together. Yeah. And then when you close it up, you want to go past where you think it's going to close a little mm-hmm. bit. And that will actually close up the piece completely. And obviously the size yeah. that you are using when it comes to the actual wire are going to affect how good that stays shut or open, which you want to mm-hmm. keep in mind if you are going to use this as a lanyard hook or have it hanging on something that might get tugged on. So that's the jump rings. The yeah. jump rings kind of continue on as Anna shows for this next little one, which I thought this was adorable to be a little hanger kind of in your window. So you may have either, again, going with that school colors and the tassels, or you may even have a little graduation tassel. Mm-hmm. You see them hanging from windows. And this, even though it's kind of teacher-based gifts, you could also do this for a grad. That's really cute too. That mm-hmm. all I did, again, jump rings, adding that number one teacher. And then Anna and I actually did a video on using some gel de soleil, but I went easier. So <laughs> all I did for this was I actually took a little setting here, one of the cabochon settings, printed out a piece of paper, traced the piece of paper, and then just kind of continued to circle mm-hmm. on and circle it. Or what you can do is get a glass cab. Put the glass cab down and literally just printing out on the printer, 2019, whatever year you need, trace the glass cab, put a little bit of glue in the bezel, put down the paper, glue it in. So whether or not you're doing this for a grab, use glass cab, yeah, super easy, super easy. And you can just literally kind of glue it right in there. It also gives you a tracing mm-hmm. surface to glue on. You could also do a picture of the grad picture of the school picture of yeah, that's what I was, some yeah. artwork that you did even too. It's cute for little kids. And you can if do you that. really want to embarrass your kid, you can put their school photo in there. <laughs> their school photo right in with, there. With the hair and, and the bad yeah, smile. And if you, don't, if you want it to be the uh, for the teacher, it's even better if you put your awkward kid's yeah. photo in. Because your teacher really wants your I'll awkward kids. never forget your kid. Hugging from the rear view mirror. <laughs> so these are kind of a cute idea also for Christmas gifts for teachers. that mm-hmm. You can do 2019. Or and grandparents, actually. Grandparents. I know this is all about the teachers, but... Gift ideas. Gift yeah, ideas. gift ideas for anybody who wants to remember your kid. <laughs> you can also E6000 kind of the back here and put something on the back as well, too, that if you wanted to put something memorable on the front, kind of make it two-sided. Yeah. Or actually take these back-to-back and just have one thing on one side oh, and one like thing on idea. the other and have them hanging from the mirror view. Mirror Picture of the school and the year. Exactly. Like that. Good yeah. idea. So we have it for the teacher, but it's great for a grad as well, adding in that, that longer tassel. Mm-hmm. And all you need for that one, again, is kind of that jump rings. This is like the how to make teacher's <laughs> gift with jump rings sort of a video. <laughs> and I got creative with the next one, which I really like. So that was for your kind of everyday teacher, maybe even right. your student. Who do we have next? What teacher do we have next up? Okay, so this is for a music teacher. <laughs> um, just because the cab is a musical cab, it, this is a um, key chain ring. Key ring. Key, yeah. key, key, key fob. <laughs> key fob, yeah, that's the word. Um, and so what I did was I just took a strip of leather and you can see this is how the leather comes. It's just in a strip and I just cut it to the length that I need. These are ends that you would just glue on. So you just put a little dab of glue inside the channel there and then insert your leather in, let it dry. And then what I did was I used a jump ring. Another <laughs> now jump we all ring. know how to open. Um, so I just used another jump ring to connect the two ends of my leather with, um, like what you did with... For your music teacher. Yeah, yeah. And then I have a bezel with a cab in it. 
Gotcha. Just thinking too with this thinner leather, you can mm -hmm. do the same thing with some of the different leather endings um, yep. like Anna used on the tassel for uh, the tassel cap. Mm -hmm. You could do the same thing with a piece of rounded leather, adding and making a little keychain out of that. Yep. It makes it better than just something stretchy mm -hmm. or some simple yeah. cording. And it if makes you it look have... a little more masculine too. Yeah, it also looks a little bit more masculine. Or what do you, if you do have somebody for that like... male teacher? Right. Yeah. yeah. What, <laughs> what do you do? Yeah. What do you do for the yeah. male teacher? Um, so somebody who doesn't wear jewelry or just somebody who you think would appreciate something kind of like leathery and maybe a have a more, yeah, motorcycle little drive yeah. in. <laughs> the other thing that I brought back here just to show with this idea, I thought, oh, this would be great too for coaches. Yeah, exactly. Because coaches usually yeah. have 12 million And then keys. this, I figured you could just do whatever. You could put something else down there, but again, like school colors. Yeah. It's nice, yeah. Oranges. But in case you have a French teacher, German teacher, mm -hmm. or you want to get some of those sports in there, I thought that was a good idea mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Kind of moving on then to the next idea. This is just a taking that number one teacher, and you can take any sort of, uh, we have some of these that you can actually stamp into you too, that you can kind of write something on. Mm -hmm. and we have a bunch of these different tags and basically taking any sort of bracelet, whether or not you want to grab some elasticity and make a stretchy bracelet, or you want to do a kumihimo bracelet like this, or even just that simple leather, taking that little teacher charm and using that as a connector so when you actually put it on that it lays kind of right along the yeah. wrist and has that nice effect. This is my favorite one. Yeah, and your teacher will really, really appreciate kind of, it's not that in your face right away kind of charm and then right it's not too teachery yeah it's not too teachery <laughs> um, and then i also thought your teacher might like horses and might like to do horseback riding so add that in there and then i brought back to some of these little uh, potomac's oval settings mm -hmm. here you could again add either their birthstone or mm -hmm. add the school colors in there you know you uh, could maybe a miami do. dolphin fan with those colors again just literally with jump rings you could take these and link them and then put this charm in the center and you have a really pretty bracelet, like a tennis really style pretty, bracelet. Like, tennis style bracelet, like crystal with the number one teacher. Yeah. yeah. And these, all of these ideas and all of these simple gifts too are just kind of uh, jumping points. Right. Check out also Bridget's five minute earrings in addition to our five teacher mm -hmm. gifts here. And it'll give you ideas and spark your imagination. But I think the number one thing is kind of personalizing it. Yeah. Get your kids involved, get them to help to pick out mm -hmm. things and um, have them put on the glue if they're a little bit older for that cabochon setting, have them pick out the tassels or get their opinions when you're making it because then it really does does mm -hmm. make it worth it. So hopefully we covered your teacher's <laughs> gifts. I know it's always a hard yeah, thing. At least for all those number one teachers. Like, I, I don't a, know what to do for the number yeah, two teachers out there. <laughs> not, not for the number two, but coffee cups, <laughs> candles, think about a lot of these can go on that. Check out the school colors in both the tassels as well as that silk rat tail, the satin rat tail cording, mm -hmm. and really just make kind of a personalized gift. It'll mean more to the teacher, and they're so used to getting random things that they can't use. I have a lot yeah. of teacher friends. So if you get something that you know that they can use, um, I think it'll really make, make the end of the year go well because our teachers kind of mm -hmm. deserve the best. So if you need any of these materials to get any of the inspiration for these, check out below us. There's links to the products at potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eu. Happy end of year. And for those teachers out there, congrats. You made it one more, one more year, yep. one more year. And you have uh, hopefully five cool presents coming to you from around the globe. So thanks so much for watching everybody and have fun making your gifts.